So something actually recently happened with the Cleveland Cavaliers that I feel like absolutely nobody is talking about. For those of you who actually haven't seen this, Kobe Altman is no longer the general manager of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, as I say this, some of you might have been like, well, what? Did, did he get fired or something? Well, what was actually, what's going on here? Basically, no, Kobe Altman was not fired. Instead, a couple of months ago, he was actually promoted, um, which I think most of you guys have probably seen by now. He was actually promoted to pretty much being the president of basketball operations at the Cleveland Cavaliers. So basically, he's like the president of the Cavs now, and he's only 39 years old, which is absolutely crazy that this dude's like the number one guy in charge. It really like weirds me out that like a year ago, some people had Kobe Altman on the hot seat for being fired as the general manager. And now he's literally the president of the whole entire basketball team, which is absolutely crazy to see. But something actually happened where the big rumor going around is that Kobe Altman would be the president and the GM. At least that's what it was kind of seen as, you know, uh, it's not like it hasn't been done before. I mean, Greg Popovich is like the coach um, and the president of the Spurs. And I think he's like, I don't know if he's the full GM, but I definitely know like he pretty much makes the moves as well. Like he has a big say in it. Pretty much the man does everything for the Spurs. A lot of people were saying, well, Kobe Altman's going to do somewhat similar thing to that, where he's going to be the president and the general manager. Instead, the Cleveland Cavaliers actually went out and now hired Mike Gancy as the general manager of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Mike Gancy is also a 39-year-old guy who has been with the Cavaliers for quite a while. He actually was hired to be the assistant general manager under Kobe Altman in 2017. And basically, he's been the dude that's been right next to Kobe Altman for all this time, kind of, you know, helping him make some of the moves. And now I guess he's going to be the general manager. Now, I think the reason why no one is talking about this is because I think everyone kind of has a similar thing in their head where they've all kind of realized, well, just because this guy is the general manager doesn't mean he's going to be making the calls. And what I mean by that is, I'd say there's about 25 teams in the NBA where, of course, the general manager makes all the calls. Then there's about five teams where they have someone else kind of in play. For example, Greg Popovich, where, again, I don't think he's the general manager. I could be wrong here, but he's a dude that, of course, is very big in that decision-making. You look at the Lakers with Rob Palenka, let's be honest here. It's almost like LeBron is the general manager um, of that team. And again, there's countless of other teams. The Cleveland Cavaliers really kind of come into this now as like that exact team because just because Mike Gancy is now the GM, I still don't think he's going to be making the decisions. I think Kobe Altman is going to be the dude that has like the final say. Let's just say like Mike Gancy for some reason wants to sign, you know, this 15th man that's from Europe or something like that. He probably gets free will to do that. But again, if he wants to go and trade a first round pick to get this player in, then of course it's going to be going through Kobe Altman. Kobe Altman will be the one pretty much making that decision if that trade goes through. And I honestly believe Kobe Altman is kind of the dude that will be, again, making a lot of these decisions, scouting a lot of these players, doing all this type of stuff for potential trades. Of course, I'm pretty sure he was the guy who made the Karis LeVert trade, and he wasn't technically the Cavs GM at that point. I don't think the Cavs had a GM at all, but we all know he was the dude that made that decision. And again... He's the president of the Cavs. He really is still the GM to me. I don't see Mike Gantz. He really paying the GM, even though that's kind of listed to his name. I think we all know Kobe Altman's kind of the man in the chair um, making all of these decisions. I, I think it's pretty obvious, and that's probably why it hasn't been exactly talked about too much. But of course, if you haven't already, I would really like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all that NBA content and news. Comment your thoughts and opinions. Do you guys think Mike Gantzy will be making 
you know, any of the moves or any of this stuff. What do you guys think Kobe Altman is still going to be the guy? This and that. Definitely let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my IRL slash long channel. I've been uploading a ton of new music content on there and my gaming channel if you haven't already. All of them will be linked in the description down below. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Do the